Good morning, folks. Get a couple extra taps at that time. Anyway, um, for the record, there's a rather large fly buzzing around in here. He's not bothering me. I'm not going to bother him. So, uh, I just came from Lotus Eaters chat. Uh, if you haven't followed any of their stuff to this point, I recommend it. I recommend it highly, as a matter of fact. Uh, let me just plug in my... Actually, I don't think I will. Um, but in the chat, <clears throat> the topic of uh, uh, feminism came up, as it's wont to do, and uh, it occurs to me that um, not just women, but also men have been lied to by the uh, cultural movement that is feminism. Um, some of what I'm about to say will sound misogynistic, it may sound misandrist to some people, uh, but Ladies, you cannot have it all. Feminism lied to you when it said you could. And for the men, yeah, we can't have it all either. And it goes without saying that we can't have it all. It's been a subconscious... Subconscious? subconscious, natural fact that men have not been able to have it all. And if you think that having a job and children means you have it all, no, no, no. Having a job, having a wife, having a family for male or female, work, family, and, you know, j but work and family is not having it all. The number of people who actually have it all is extremely small because that's the result of either hyper-competitiveness during one's lifetime where you deny yourself quite a lot in order to have it all later or you fool yourself into thinking you have it all or potentially you are the beneficiary of someone else who chose to deny themselves so that you could have it all. In the case of someone who has a massive inheritance, for example. But, oh, I just realized I left a tool improperly put away. Sorry. <clears throat> um, but this idea that men have it all, no. No, men don't have it all. And no one has it all. But to deal specifically with the idea of men having it all first. Um, men are expected to put their lives on the line to defend. Whether it's their family, their country, their people, what have you. Women are not expected to do that, or should not be expected to do that. Men are expected to go out and compete for work in order to serve their family. I almost had that fly. I don't know if you guys heard him or not, but he was damn close to the mic. Um, but men can't have it all because we're expected to put our lives on the line, put our bodies through extreme labor. Uh, you know, if there's a problem, men are expected to deal with it. If there's a crisis, men are expected to deal with it. One second. I'm going to open the big door and let that fly out. Okay. It's quite windy. I expect the fly will go directly out the door, if he hasn't already. Um, so, men don't get to have it all, because we're expected to be the provider, the protector, what have you. By the same token, women cannot have it all. No matter what feminism tells you, women cannot have it all. <sighs> because someone has to raise the children. Someone has to bear the children. Regardless of what 
some sectors of society might tell you men cannot get pregnant. And even if men could get pregnant, would we still not be expected to go and work? Yeah. As one of the uh, people in the chat pointed out, men and women are expected to complement each other, or used to be. But unfortunately, because of feminism, because feminism says, no, no, women are just as deserving of everything as men, which is jealous bullshit and a zero-sum fallacy again, um, men cannot have it all any more than women can. Women should not be competing for male jobs. Now, I, there's where I'm going to sound misogynistic, and here's why women should not be competing. By women entering the workforce, all you did was become, as someone else in the Lotus Eaters pointed out, all you did was become tax cows. The problem is, with companies cutting labor costs, then there are fewer jobs to go around anyway, which means there are more men competing with women, or rather, more women competing with men, and those jobs are getting harder and harder to come by. And the employer is going, hmm, I have a big labor pool to draw from. I don't need to raise my wages. So yeah, women competing with men for work lowers wages. When you increase the size of the labor pool, there is no reason to increase a wage to attract workers. It's the same issue with the immigration problem. If you increase the size of your labor pool, your employers do not have to raise their wages because people are competing more. When I lived in Alberta, it was a very small labor pool in the town I was in. It was not unusual to see people quit one job, walk across the street, and have a new job. Like that. I know, because I was a drug addict at the time, and I did it a bunch. But, in a situation like that, you can have a family because your employers are going to be competing to keep you, which means they'll be willing to give you benefits to raise your wages and to protect their workers however they can because they want to protect their bottom line. And their workers are an asset that they have to guard against loss or against the loss of. And yeah, this is getting a bit ranty. I do not apologize. And where competition exists. Well, look what I've got. <laughs> yes, I know, pups. I know. Come here. Look at the camera. Get your get your paw out of me shirt. Look at the camera. What's that? Hey, what's that there? Yeah. So this is Molly. This is my brother's dog. Uh, just picked up from the groomers. <laughs> As you can see, she hates me. Think so? Yeah, so she's trembling like crazy because she's all excited and uh, <laughs> staring at the person holding her leash. So yeah, there's the uh, the dog interlude for the video. I'll go back to ranting about feminism in a minute. <laughs> so I hope you folks enjoyed that. Oh, hang on. Sorry, the dog came back in. <laughs> I'm very much a dog person and I make no apologies for it. Anyway, um... I think I've pretty much completed my rant anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you know, dog hair. Um, <sighs> traditional might not be a bad way to go. Anyway, uh, I hope you're all doing well. Hope you continue to do well. And uh, like, share, subscribe, comment. There's a donation button. Look in the description box. You guys know all this by now anyway. I want to go pet the dog. <laughs> rise and rise again until lambs become lions. Bye-bye.